Um, welcome class of 2015. Those knockers. Um, that's your class. You should be graduating in 2015. Um, everyone will, hope will graduate in 2015. Um, Y'all have on your desk, as you, um, when you walked in, it's a pre-test. Hopefully you turned it on the front sheet, it says pre-test. Um, <coughs> Flip it it's two-sided. So on the first part, get out a pen, pencil, something to write with. And don't be nervous. It's not a real test. It's just some information to see what you know that would help me to make sure that I've covered all the things that I need to cover in the um, presentation. So if you would take a few minutes to fill out questions one through four, disregard five and six. I'm going to assume by the silence that everyone's done. So I'm going to go forward. Okay, by now you should know where the bathrooms are, your school rules because they're nicely printed in your, um, your handy dandy notebook with your, uh, cap, your planner, as you would call it. You should know how to get to your class and you should know who your teachers are. What you might not know is who your counselor is and what they do. For ninth graders, y'all are over here at this campus, as you know, and Mr. Curtis is your counselor if, you're, um, if your last name is A through H-E-N. Okay, and Ms. Brown is your counselor if your name, your last name is H-E-N through Z. Okay, and these are their wonderful pictures, so recognize their faces. Okay, on your pre-test, don't write anything else. Turn it over and wait to the end, and then we're going to complete the post test. So don't fill out. I'm sorry, I didn't give those clear instructions. That was that's it for your pretest. For your post test, you should be able to answer the rest of the questions. So just hold on to it for one second, and we'll get to that at the end. There was a question. It's fine. Okay, Mr. Um, Curtis is also the counselor for those who are in the specialty center. Is anyone here in the specialty center? Okay, so Mr. Curtis is your counselor. It's the gentleman in the back of the classroom. Okay. How your counselors can help as far as um, academic planning. In January, you'll begin, um, you'll begin scheduling your uh, schedule for the next year. I know it might seem soon, but it's to help you to prepare for your next semester, uh, your next school year. Um, they can also help you by helping you think about how to improve your grades, give you some career information, um, and help, help you get along in high school in a, with your peers or any other issues that you might have. So, your counselors are here for you. Um, also, you have counselors to, if you come into some type of conflict, your counselors can help be a liaison to your upperclassmen mentors, and they're juniors and seniors who are um, here to help with, <clears throat> excuse me, conflict mediation, and if you just need like a big brother, big sister type, um, type relationship, they're also here for that. So you would see your counselor for those things. And these, this is an accurate picture of those folks who are um, currently upperclassmen mentors. Next, um, how do you get in contact with your counselor? Has anyone already been to the um, school counseling office? Raise your hand. Okay, so you know that you can walk in, and if your counselor isn't available, what do you do? You know? There is like an orange sheet half sheet that's up in the front by where Ms. Shaw is, you fill that out um, and you give it to her and at some point your counsel will send you a pass um, when, it's, when they have an opportunity to, to um, send for you to come in to see them. Any questions about that, about senior counsel? Some things have changed since middle school. Um, at this point, all the grades that you get from here on out will count. Um, some of you might have taken algebra or a foreign language in middle school, so they count as well. But this is a time where your grades actually count and colleges look for those things. So here we have the diploma types. Your standard diploma is um, right here and is 22 credits. So you know you have to take four Englishes, three maths, um, three sciences, um, 
or history and science, two physical education, um, a language arts, language, foreign language arts career, and then something new that they're doing is every student will be um, doing a economics or personal finance class, and then you have four electives. For your advanced studies diploma, um, as you see, the English stays the same, but you're looking at four math, um, four science, uh, four history, a world language. You can either do three years of one language or two and two, two years of one and two years of another. You still have to take the economics or personal finance, and then you would still need to do a health and PE um, or a fine and practical arts. And then you have three electives. All right, let's do a little simple math right here. If you take, if you have four years of high school and each year you're taking a total of seven classes, how many credits could you possibly end up with? How many? Exactly. So you have an opportunity to still earn more credits than what's required for each of the both. Plus equals a 5.0. And if you're taking AP level classes, it's a 5.5. I know that's all like crazy right now, but just so you kind of understand the level of classes that you're taking as well as um, so this is how you calculate your GPA because I'm going to give you an opportunity to try to, to do that, um, break you up in small groups to do that. You um, add up your points for each grade and then you divide that by the credit that you, that is um, it with that grade. So, for example, if you have two A's, you would have 4.0 plus um, one credit. So that would be two A's, two uh, four plus um, four plus four, and then you would divide that by two. So you would get a 4.0. Make sense? Okay. Now I want you to try. Break you up into small groups really quickly. Give y'all about seven minutes to think about it, come up with it, and I have the grades right here, and I'll go back to that um, that slide so that you can see what it um, the counts. Each each um, of these grades is going to be worth one credit. Okay, so the right here. Five, six. And then the six of you, I'm sorry, the five of you right here. Y'all get together and try to come up, thank you, come up with these. Then this row. Someone from someone from each of you. Okay. Excuse me. Thank you. Someone from each group, please stand if you don't mind and tell me what your GPA was. We're we'll gonna start over here. Okay. What did you get? <laughs> Hold on, your your classmates are still getting themselves together. I don't even know it. Okay, say it again for me. Two point eight. Okay, you have a two point seven nine, a two point eight. Who else is standing? Are you are you reporting for your group? No. Okay. It was okay. No, 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 no. A three point three. Okay. Two point zero nine. Thank you. 2.7 and 2.75. 2.75. All right. What you should have, if you're looking at an A plus, that would be a what? Uh, four, okay. A B would be a three. A for driver's ed would be very good. A C would be 
two. Okay. Uh, C plus in honors biology would be three. Okay. Uh, B plus in world history. Three. Uh, F in Spanish. Zero. But would you still count that in the credits? Yes. Yeah. Very Five. good. A B plus in man would give you to give you a two point seven ish. It's 2.78. That, perfect. So, not saying that someone with a GPA like that won't be able to get into college, um, but it's a four year college, it might be a little difficult. Another thing about being a wonderful freshman and the change from, from middle school into high school. Some things that you should avoid those pitfalls um, of your freshman year. Um, that includes, you know, making good decisions, um, being aware of things going on around you. Um, part of that is, y'all know all about the Kanye, Taylor Swift situation that was completely disrespectful. So that's some, some of the things you want to stay away from. You know, make sure that you respect others, um, you respect yourself, that you're not getting involved in a whole bunch of foolishness. You're here to what? Are you sure? Y'all didn't sound convincing. Okay. Um, stay away from that he said, she said garbage. That leads to fighting or just the big old blow up in the hallway that's unnecessary because, again, this is an institution for learning. Y'all are here to learn so that you can graduate and get out of here. No fighting. That who knows some of the consequences of fighting? What, what can happen for fighting? How many days? Ten. Ten days suspension. What else? <laughs> Ten days. I believe those might be, um, are those times that you can make up work? I'm not exactly sure. Can you make up that work? No. You can make up work when you're suspended. Um, but the thing is, you need to make up the work. So, uh, y'all have a school resource officer, a police officer mm -hmm. here? Uh -huh. He's here for those reasons, too. So if you're fighting, most likely you'll be arrested. Not to scare you, but just so that you're aware of the possible consequences of your actions. So avoiding those will take you a long way. Um, being in the know. So you know that you have the morning and afternoon announcements. Um, you have Ed line that you can go on to so that you understand and you know what's going on and help you avoid those pitfalls. There's tutoring. Does anyone know what time tutoring is and where? Wednesdays after school. Say that one more time really loud. Wednesdays after school. Wednesdays after school. So to help you keep your GPA up, GPA up um, we have tutoring here at Thomasdale that will help you if you're, having, if you're struggling a little bit. And then lastly, getting involved. Colleges like to see that you're involved as well. Um, plus, it, it's just something fun that you know you can do to interact with your peers. Um, Y'all had a uh, kind of like a vendor fair or a um, say it again? Club fair. a club fair. So y'all should know all of the um, clubs and organizations that y'all can get involved in, right? Mm -hmm. And then lastly, staying afloat. You know, make, making sure that you you study and you're managing your time because. It's, like I said, it's different. It's different now that you're in, you're in high school. Um, you got to manage your time properly and, and make sure that you, you study well. Okay. Are there any questions? No questions? I was that good. I gave you all that information and no one has any questions about it. Yes. I was that good? Yes. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. If you don't mind going ahead and filling out your post test. If you would do one through four and then number seven. Sorry. Anything to add, Mr. Curtis? No, ma'am. We're great. Thank you.